This right here is the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, the Pro edition of the Galaxy Buds for 2024. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of what I think about this device, Siobhan Beckford style. Let's go. Quick disclaimer, I'm not gonna be talking about the specs and stats for nerds for this Galaxy Buds because if you're watching this video, more than likely you've done some research online to get more details on the Buds. I won't be reading any specs off a sheet and telling you guys information you've probably looked into already and information you can get at your fingertips. That would make no sense. And this video is not sponsored by Samsung. But if you're looking to buy the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, around this time of the year is the best time to pick it up because it's close to December, Christmas sale, and Samsung currently has a sale going on on their Samsung shop. That's their shop app exclusive to Samsung devices where you can pick this up for as low as 180 bucks. I got it paired with my S24 Ultra and my Galaxy Watch Ultra for 180 bucks, plus tax of course. I bought all three together. So now I have most of the Infinity Stones. I have the tablet to go and the ring and maybe the Galaxy Ultra Book, the laptop. So wish me luck. Now let's talk about the case. Now this case is very close to the Apple AirPods Pro. Like it's round and rectangular but also has the round smooth edges it doesn't look like the traditional samsung galaxy buds case we are used to from back in the past and to be honest it looks cool like the apple earpods case was pretty solid the design on this one it's like samsung took the apple earpod case design and improved on it because I like the transparent top as a tech addict or tech fanatic that is, not the average user. I like the fact that I can see my earbuds through the top because this is clear hard plastic. I doubt you guys can see it on the video like this. I'll put some B-rolls in and you see the little Samsung logo up top, pop it open, see the Galaxy Buds, they light up. They have some white LEDs on them with a little indicator light on the front of the earbuds case you have red over here to signify that this is the right earbud you have a little blue color over here to signify that this one is the left earbud the earbuds individually are also color coded so the right one has a little red on the bottom and also a R, common sense and the left one has the blue thingy on the bottom like what's on the case and a little L now for the design now a lot of people argue that this looks exactly like the Apple AirPods Pro, like the stem design. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw it, I was like, what in the world is Samsung doing making a replica of the Apple AirPods? But then I bought it, used it for like two weeks, and I came to the realization of why they adapt this factor form factor in their Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. And hear me out. The reason I think, I don't know if that's the reason, they opt for the stem design is to improve on their gesture control. Now on this Buds, I don't know about the others. To turn up the volume, you swipe your finger up the stem. To turn down the volume, you swipe your finger down the stem. To pause, you pinch once. To fast forward, double pinch, to rewind, triple pinch. And to change your different noise control settings, you have ambient, you have adaptive, and you have active noise control, you pinch and hold, and it will cycle through your different noise control settings. Also, I believe the stem design helps to improve on the microphone capabilities on the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, because over the years, the other Galaxy Buds they had poor mic reception, like the mic would be on the buds all the way over here. You're talking here, remember, sound travels out, yeah, that's correct. But if you have a microphone closer to the source where the sound is coming from, you will have better reception. So making the stem design on this thing, allowing the microphone to go closer to your mouth, if it's even just by a centimeter or two, 
will improve the quality and the amount of sound waves this device is able to capture. And I also think that this little stem here makes it look cool with the LED strip here. It has a white light that you can turn on and turn off. They pop up when you open the case, they pop up when you close the case, they pop up when you connect. You can turn them on or off manually and you can also control how they react in the app. There, there are three modes, I think. Yeah, three modes that you can have them blinking while they're on and in your ear playing. I find the light strips useful, especially at night when I'm walking in the dark. I have my earbuds in listening to music and the lights are glowing in the dark so I can signal other people and drivers, hey, I'm here, I'm walking in the dark. You can see my earbuds blinking so you don't hit me with your car. They help to improve visibility, if that makes sense. And I also think the stem here maybe has some extra room for battery to make the battery last longer. I really don't know about the battery life on these. They last me maybe a couple days on a single charge. I don't have my ear pods docked into my ear 24 seven listening to everything on the internet or every media that's coming from my device. I'm not like that. I'm a regular human and I have day-to-day -day activities to do so you won't catch me with these in my ears 24 seven. I may listen to music for like three, four hours of the day while I work, I'm a chef, or while I'm editing photos or whatever, I might have some music playing if I'm walking, if I'm working out, but I don't have them in 24 seven and they, they last. I've never had this thing died on me since I've got it. I only say, all right, I think they might die now. Plug it in, get some juice and I'm good to go. Now, as I mentioned before, the gesture controls on this thing, they're amazing. They have all the basic gestures you'd expect from a earbuds. And also the audio quality coming from this thing right here, the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, man. It's amazing. So currently guys, I finished the video, but while I was editing, I realized I didn't have any sample of what the microphone sound like on the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. So I have it paired to my S24 Ultra. I have the voice recording app open. Now I'm going to record an audio file on the phone. I have the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro connected as my audio capturing device. I have it set to high recording quality, which is 256 kilobits per second at 48 kilohertz. That's the highest quality offered in the Samsung Galaxy voice recording application. But with the high quality, and I think maybe it's because I have the Bluetooth microphone available recording the audio, I am not able to record in stereo. So this will be a mono file. So it won't be stereo like what the camera is capturing right now. It might sound a bit different, but this is going to be the quality coming from the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro in the Samsung voice recording app. Let's go. Hi. My name is Siobhan Beckford. I'm recording a YouTube video on the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hi, my name is Siobhan Beckford. I'm recording a YouTube video on the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now, I didn't try to talk higher than I would, louder than I would, whatever it is to make the buds look better. My normal voice, you could hear it on the camera because I recorded it as well. I'll play the camera file from the Anchor microphone and I'll also play the audio file from the Galaxy Buds so you guys can hear the quality. And I've made phone calls with the Galaxy Buds, WhatsApp, straight calls, and people say the audio is pretty good. Even when I'm in noisy conditions, the audio is quite fine. No, I couldn't record those calls because of privacy reasons, but you know, if it sounds good on the voice recording application, it's going to sound good on the calling application. So I hope you guys enjoy and you find it good enough for your needs. And I mentioned before, this video ain't sponsored by Samsung and this video ain't sponsored by Spigen, but I have this cool dope Spigen case for my Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, keep it protected keep it from scratches and if I drop it. I've dropped it like three times since I've got it. 
So if you want to protect your Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, you could check this pig and case out. Maybe I'm going to get some Amazon affiliate link or something to add to the description because I'm not an Amazon affiliate as yet, but maybe I sign up right now since I'm thinking about it. I could make an extra 30 bucks or something. And yeah, Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Now it's currently going for $250 on the Samsung website. My best bet to you is to wait until their Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale to get it a bit cheaper because Samsung is always having sale. When I got my S24 Ultra and the Galaxy Watch Ultra, I got the Buds 3 Pro on sale as well for like 180 bucks if you include taxes and those stuff. So that was a huge discount. That's like $70 off from the Samsung app on your phone on the website was a different price but I got a discount on the Samsung app back on my S21 Ultra so if you like this video hit the subscribe button hit the like button so I can keep making more videos like these I'm gonna make a more in-depth video for my one month using the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro so you guys can stay tuned for that if tech photography filmmaking is something you're into feel free to hit the subscribe button like I mentioned earlier I'm Siobhan Beckford Let's keep growing, create the biggest Jamaican tech YouTube on the planet. Let's go. Peace. I don't know how to end this video. Just go ahead and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Help me subscribe to the video so I can get enough subscribers to get monetized so I can buy the Galaxy Ring and the tablet to complete my Samsung ecosystem. Let's go. Adios. Ciao. Au revoir, little more. Bye. Mercy. My heart is filled with love. My heart is filled with love. My heart is filled with love. My heart is filled.